What's up YouTube? Evan Ruggiero here. I'm so excited to be partnering with Sodanza for a weekly vlog, so make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date. We're gonna talk about tap shoes, we're gonna talk about peg legs, we're gonna talk about guitars, we're gonna talk about music and dance. We're gonna talk about being an amputee, we're gonna talk about my dog, alright? We're gonna show you what it's like to prepare for the gig, we're gonna take you to the start of the gig, and then we're gonna show you what it's like after the gig. First stop, the DC Tap Fest. Now, if you're going to a tap festival, you gotta remember, bring your tap shoes. That's why I'm bringing the Sodansa TA-780s. I like these tap shoes because they have a nice, fat, warm, and rich tone, and they really complement my peg leg well. Speaking of peg legs, if you have one leg, don't forget your peg leg. I'm bringing this peg leg, this white vinyl wrap peg leg that I had a Step Ahead Prosthetics make for me. This is my A1 as far as peg leg goes, my A1 as far as tap shoes goes, they match, this is my gear. Well, now that we talked about tap shoes, we gotta talk about guitars. So, am I gonna be bringing my black Les Paul? Am I gonna be bringing my orange Firebird? Or, am I going to be bringing my red Bernie SG? And it's the Bernie I'm gonna go with, woo! Well, that's all the gear that we're gonna be bringing down to DC. We're gonna load up the truck at 4.45 in the morning, and then we're gonna drive down to DC where we're gonna see all of you tap dancing your feet and faces off. So I'll check back with you in the morning. All right, good morning. It's 5 a.m. I'm about 15 minutes behind schedule for myself, but we're gonna start loading up the car, and we're gonna hit the road. Let's do this. All right, we're all loaded up, and we're about to make our first stop, Old Bridge, New Jersey. All right, we're in Old Bridge, New Jersey now, back at my parents' house. We're about to unload Peg Lake 2 and load up Peg Lake 1. <laughs> What's up? We're backstage right now at the DC Tap Fest. It's pouring rain outside. I just had my tech rehearsal. I think it went really well. We're gonna go check out what's happening on stage so you guys can see how it all works behind the scenes. We just ran into a special guest star. I Look who can't it is. Give Look you who it is. It is Melinda Sullivan. Baby. What is it? <laughs> That's the only thing I have plenty of. I'm like, my nose I, oh, is just Oh, I'm so up. sorry. That's I'm fine. like still getting used to this. There we okay. go. So, Good Melinda, luck on your vlog. thank you very much. Yes. How many years have you been coming to the Tap Festival? To the DC Tap Fest? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, I think I've been in total like four times, but off and on since the beginning, <laughs> so times. I'm probably not the right person to ask. But I love it, and I've been supportive the whole time, and I'm super excited to be here year 11. Yes, here we are, year 11. Well, thank you for joining us. Anytime. We'll see I'm here with DeWitt Fleming Jr. <laughs> Fellow, well, no, 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 you grew up in DC. Yeah. You grew up in DC, DC but yeah. I met you in New Jersey because we were both in the New Jersey yeah. Tap yeah. Ensemble yeah. together. Yes, right. So DeWitt's got his, his microphones. Do yeah. it right. Yep, do, do it right. right. So do it. The proper way to, to wear your do it right <laughs> microphone. Well, first and foremost, make sure the wire's on the outside. <laughs> make sure it's on the outside. <laughs> Not yeah. the inside. So, like, what gave you this idea to start, you know? having your well, own microphones. Well, the thing, what gave me the idea is that I'm always traveling and doing shows with bands and uh, always in different theaters, sometimes clubs, sometimes arenas. And across the board, the one problem you always have is no one's prepared for you. And yeah. so you come in 
and they and you say, oh, is there a micro? Oh, you need a microphone? Oh, you need a wooden floor? Oh, you yeah. so it's all these things. And I and I said, okay, I was doing uh, different musical theater shows, and they would have the rigs. And I said, these are great, but they're they're pretty flimsy. And when you do the musical theater shows, you know. Mm -hmm. They go through those mics like at least three or four a week. I reached out to a buddy and I said, hey, um, how can I get a pair for myself? And he said, well, hit up, you know, call this company, tell them I sent you and they can probably make you a pair. So the company made me a pair and they were the same kind that I use in like a musical theater and things like that. Within about a week or two, um, I end up stepping on it and crushing it. The heartbreaking, the thing that's so, <laughs> that hurt so much about that is the guy, I paid $750 for these mics. He paid $750 for a microphone. Not only like were was it $750, but they were used. And the guy was doing me a favor. And then it was just like, I was just like, okay, I can't be paying that much money. And then I make the wrong move and I break right, it. Right. And so I went to another friend of mine who was a sound engineer, and, you know, and I was like, hey man, you gotta help me out. Like, what can we do? I bought these mics and they were used and it was $750 and they look like crap and they're so flimsy. And he's like, well, I don't know, let's let's see what we can do. And so years and years of just going back and forth and saying, nope, that's not gonna work, nope, nope. And then we finally came up with something. I was like, that's great. I was like, this is like sturdy. If I, you know, dance on it, you know, it's not gonna break. And it has a full range sound. Yeah. It's not like this tingy sound. It's yeah. like it's got the full spectrum. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. this is great. And so I just started using it for myself. And, right, I was, right. and, then, and then people kept asking me and I was like, oh, well, yeah, well, my buddy makes them. And then it just got to a point where I was like, okay, I guess right. I better do this. I guess right. I just- Gotta do it right. Gotta do it right. <laughs> gotta do it yeah. right. Yeah, and that's so it. that's what happened. And then now here we are and we've, uh, for the most part, perfected it. Um, I, you can never say anything's perfect because you can always make anything better. But uh, yeah, that's 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 kind of how it happened. That's that's awesome. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. I've uh, actually got to use them uh, yeah. down in Mexico. Right. And um, we didn't do it right. <laughs> we didn't do it right because we well, I'm gonna we get put on them, them on the we put them on the when, inside. When when they bought the mics, I sent I sent everybody an email saying watch the video so you know exactly how to do it. And they didn't watch the video. <laughs> All right, do it. Thank you. Yeah, it's thank good you. To see you, man. Always. Man. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's up? We're back in New York City. Happy to be home. It's a really great day today. We are in Midtown right now. I'm gonna meet up with my friend Caitlin Frank to film a little bit of dancing. She's got a cool campaign going on called Entertainment for Change. She's working with the UN, so let's see what that's about. So Caitlin, what are we doing today? We're doing a video for Entertainment for Change. Um, we're sharing the 17 initiatives of the United Nations, trying to get them across to the next generation and, and spread that really cool change through entertainment. So we're basically just making a music video. Yeah, I love making music videos. Yeah. All right, let's start. station we just had a great video shoot it was a lot of fun ran into a great saxophone player here had a good conversation and we're gonna head back home and see what happens so something crazy just happened and I am going to bring my phone closer to the camera and show you 
who just shared our video? Jennifer Garner just shared our video, and we are so grateful. Thank you so much, Jennifer Garner. We love you. And I just want to say I love 13 Going on 30. I think it's the greatest movie ever. <laughs> Thank you. It was a long evening. We were out in Fort Tryon Park dancing. I came back to my apartment and we did like a 30 minute interview. So I'm looking forward to see how it turns out. I'm sure they'll send me a link of it and I'll post it somewhere and uh, we'll check it out when it comes in. All right, I'm signing off. Thank you.